Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Desolation. And it is episode 29 already. We are getting very, very close to the final episode, which, well, I say final episode. The final episode of it in October, anyway. I think I'm going to do a few more episodes after the 31st episode anyway. So you guys will be seeing episode 29 and episode 30 today, if everything goes according to plan anyway. I also want to just apologise for there being no Crafting Dead episode yesterday. I have been focusing on this series quite a bit this month, and next month... Once this series is over, I should be able to focus more on Crafting Dead and Fear the Crafting Dead again. And um, once more, I do apologise. I know you are all very big fans of Crafting Dead and Fear the Crafting Dead. So I want to thank you for sticking by and sticking through the series and watching it, I suppose, through this entire month. And in this episode, we are starting off at Paradise Village, which is what this place is called, apparently. And this is where we left off, or well, we left off outside of there, right by the really loud machine. And I'd rather not go anywhere near that machine, but we're just going to go through because I know that there's some stuff on top of this building. So we're just going to go through and we're going to loot some of these areas. I think there's a book in here. I checked in here. I was looking through this area outside the video and I found this book, so I figured we might as well read this. It says, Clear the junk. James, I thought I told you to clean this out a week ago. We need to hold the raffle soon, and I don't want my neighbor thinking I stole, I store my garbage in their house. From Joe Pennett. Okay, so this is XX. Why is this all X's? Is there a spawner under the bed? Hold on. Right, so the X's are boss battles. Right? Did that do anything? I don't think so. Um, I apologise if you just heard that noise and not, nearly knocked something off my desk. There's, I, I'm not too sure what's happening right now. I mean, the X's normally resemble a boss battle. But there doesn't appear to be any boss battle. Maybe it's because there's a torch here? I don't really know. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not a boss. Normally it'll say something in the chat, but it doesn't say anything. We're getting spooky noises, which isn't really a sign of anything. That just tends to happen here, but... There doesn't seem to be anything spawning when I then press that. May is there something on top? I can't actually see. I don't think there is, so... I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not a boss battle. Maybe it's just all crossed out. Try flicking a few more times. No, nothing happened. All right. Well, nothing happened there. Are there any more um, chests or books? This is Joe Pennett. This is. Okay. Nothing in here. Anything in this one? Whose is this? Haley Karmic. Um. Anything? Another book. It's called The Noise. Probably talking about the noise outside. I can't sleep over the sounds of those creepy ancient machines. I see now why James was so eager to give away this house, and why he sleeps as far away from the noise as he can. I hope I can get used to this racket. Well, probably not. Listen to this. Do you think you guys could get used to this if you had to sleep next to that sound every night? Um, I'm pretty sure that I couldn't, and I wouldn't even want to try. What's this? It's just a random painting on the ground. So let's stay away from that noise because it's not very pleasant. We might as well just pull all of, the, all of these levers. Sorry if that was then a little bit loud. I don't know why I just started speaking so loud right then. I didn't even mean to. It was a complete accident. One minute I was talking normally and the next I was just being extremely loud. So there was nothing. There wasn't really anything crazy in any of these I don't think. Um, I'm looking for levers to try and light this area up, if you're wondering why I'm coming in all of these. There doesn't seem to be anything, but let's make our way up the top of here. We can climb up vines, which is something I didn't realise we could actually do 
in 1.14. I don't even know how long this has been in the game. I don't think it's been in the game. I think it was added in this version. If you hold space on vines, you can climb up them now, but you never used to be able to. So I'm thinking it's a newly added thing, but I could be completely wrong on that. I don't know for sure, but I just thought it was something to bring up and something that's actually pretty useful that I didn't expect to find out, to be fair. So it's pretty useful. My brother was actually the one that t showed me that, to be fair, because I tried to do it and it didn't work, but then he told me about it and then it did work. So that doesn't really make sense, but it's what happened, so I don't I don't really know what was going on with that, but there is a propeller here, which there's a chest right here. I think there's another wingsuit in here. There is, and there's a key. There's a wingsuit and prototype 255-26, and there is a book. It says, Letter Reply. Dear Movarek, the cargo has been dropped off. By the end of the week, you will turn a hefty... Oh, a hefty profit, I'm sure. Don't know why I thought that said hefty. <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense at all. A he you'll make a hefty profit. Not a hefty profit, a hefty one. I don't know. Apparently, I can't read today. Apparently, I've learned through making this series that I can't read most days, apparently. Especially not while recording. Which is kind of stupid, because that's what the majority of Craft and Dead is made up of. And also, I'm thinking about um, making a community post, just sort of asking what you guys want to see, like Crafting Dead-wise. Like, what things in Crafting Dead do you wish that I'd do more of? Like, I'm sure a lot of people would prefer if there were more zombies in it, and I would prefer that too, obviously. I kind of made an idea with myself that Every single episode, there would be a zombie. At least one zombie appear in every single episode. And I haven't stuck with that, mostly because it's kind of difficult, considering that in Crafting Dead, we're in a community right now, so there aren't exactly a need for zombies anywhere. And I didn't mean to break that, it's because this pickaxe is too good. But yeah, it's kind of difficult to include zombies, considering that the community is safe and zombie-free, so it's kind of a little bit hard to do, but that's why I tend to make the episodes of Craft and Dead where um, Ryan goes out with, um, you know, Skelly and Ed, and they do the recruiting, and um, that's why I tend to do that, because then that way it includes, and it is still then the Crafting Dead with all the zombies. And um, I am planning, or I don't want to say I'm planning for zombies to be in it soon because that's not true. I'm going to try and figure out a way to introduce some zombies into it, I suppose, or have zombies in there at some point. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that, but I'll try and do it anyway. And we've got a longbow. I'm not too sure what this does. Um, is it infinity? No, it's not. It's not got infinite arrows. So I'm not too sure what enchants this bow has on it. But uh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. It <laughs> can't be much worse than the family bow. I mean, the family bow has infinity, which is very nice. And it's it's good to have. But it's just not, it's not very powerful. And I think I tend to keep complaining about the family bow. I think it's because we spent quite a while trying to get those 10 keys, and then we got the 10 keys, and then the item we got for those 10 keys, what it just wasn't worth the 10 keys, and <laughs> that's all it is. That's really the only reason why I always complain about it, to be fair. And that's really the only reason, and also, while we're in this area, this area last episode is where I started talking about Walking Dead, I said that I hadn't recorded it yet, or I haven't seen. I hadn't seen it yet. The time of the recording, I hadn't seen it. I have now since seen it because I'm recording this the day after. So I'm recording this on the 29th, the same day Crafting Dead should have come out, but didn't because I didn't manage to record it in time. I should have done. Once again, I apologize for that. But um, I have since seen the new episode of Walking Dead. And I have to say, I was quite impressed with the episode. I thought it was quite good. 
For those of you that haven't seen it, I'll quickly say spoiler warning, and I'll give you a chance to um, either just mute the video, I suppose, or, you know, um, check it back. I don't know, maybe what I'll do is, if you don't want to hear the spoilers for Crafting Dead, mute the video, and not yet though, because I need to explain something, and then when I'm finished talking about Walking Dead, what we'll do is we'll do this, and we'll freak out in third person like this, so that way you know to unmute the video, and then you can listen again, okay? So, I'm going to say spoiler warning right now, so if you don't want to know, mute the video right now, and when I go into third person and freak out, you know to come back, okay? Spoiler warning, last chance. Okay, so now that the people that don't want to know about the episode because they want to watch it at some point later uh, have muted the video, I basically just wanted to talk about um, the whole episode, really. I thought it was quite good with um, Lydia getting attacked and then Negan saving her. I thought it was quite good that it was Negan. I knew it was going to be either Negan or Daryl, and I'm sort of glad that it was Negan. I don't agree with how everyone is treating Negan. I also don't know how to get into this building. I'm trying to find a way in. But I don't agree with how everyone's treating Negan, although I do understand that it's because of everything he's done. I mean, let's face it, he has done some pretty horrible things to a lot of people. So it's it's fair enough in that sense. But I think he I think he's trying to do good right? And he's trying to redeem himself as much as he can. He doesn't really help himself in the fact that he kind of just makes things worse. I mean, one minute he'll be really nice and supportive, and then the next minute he has to throw a little dig in there that just makes everyone hate him again. And he kind of just seems to do that a lot, which I think is something that a lot of people do in real life, to be fair. Jackie, no more exploring. Fair enough gonna try and get our way in here but I definitely think Negan keeps digging his own grave when he comes to that I mean one minute people are liking him and then the next he's saying something stupid to make him not like him again and it really just isn't good for him because eventually oh well not eventually I mean he did just escape his cell which I am very kind of happy about because I'm hoping that he is now going to fulfill his comic storyline, or his story arc in the comics. I'm hoping he is now going to pull that off, and if he does, I am going to be very, very impressed. I don't know how to get in here. I don't understand. There's a chest. I'm breaking for- wow, that's a lot of him breaking books, which is going to come in handy, because we do need that for quite a few of our tools, actually. Actually, yeah, not really, but I mean, it's useful. And I'm hoping that he's going to get his comic storyline because it's a good, it's a good story arc. And but let's just break through here. Why not? Why not? Let's just break. Oh come on, really? There's a fence there now. Okay. Maybe I don't even know if there is a way to get in here because I couldn't. I can't find an entrance. I mean, there's like a fish tank here. But I'm hoping, like I was saying, I keep getting distracted, sorry about that. But I do, I'm hoping that he's going to get his comic story arc. And that's pretty much it, really. I mean, that's all I really wanted to say about the episode. I mean, I'm liking all the characters. I'm liking Magna and her group. We're getting some more story building, you know, character building. Um, the same goes with um, Michonne and Ezekiel. I mean, they had their kiss, which... I mean, of course, we know that Rick's alive, but they don't. But I'm glad that it wasn't nothing more than that. But I feel like it may turn into something more than that. And they may end up getting together, I suppose. I don't ship it, but I think some people probably do. And I'm also really liking the dynamic between Daryl and Lydia, to be fair. Because I think that that's quite nice. And there's some stuff here. Fishing rod, iron axe. Ah, we must have to break out of here with this axe. There we go. Okay, so at least we now know how to get back in and out. But yeah, I'm just, I'm liking this season so far. I think I've said that quite a few times in the episodes where I've been talking about it, but I am really liking this season so far. So I'm looking forward to seeing where it's going. I'm looking forward to seeing where everything sort of goes with the Whisperers, really. Because I think they're going to be... They're going to bring a lot to the story. 
and I think it's going to be very, very interesting to say the least. So I think I'm pretty much done talking about the episode now, so let's go into third person and let's freak out like this. You could probably hear me clicking and pressing the spacebar. And welcome back everyone who just unmuted, if you unmuted. People probably didn't, but just in case, I figured I'd do that anyway. And let's see, where do we need to try and get? Okay, there we go. Right, so if we can try and get around here, there's nothing... In, I mean, there are things in these areas, but it's pretty much like the same repeat of everything. It's food, and it's really just stuff like that. Nothing important is um, in these buildings, so I figured we might as well just skip them and go straight to the top, because I believe there are important things at the top. So we're just going to skip from the bottom all the way to the top. And we had a lever on us earlier. Did we keep it or did we use it? I don't actually remember. Hmm, okay. Hopefully this doesn't fall all the way down. Okay, we've got a button. We don't want a button, though. That's the thing, we want a lever. Please, okay. I swear if this falls, I'm going to freak. Okay, good. It didn't. I'm glad. <laughs> I appreciate you not falling. Little shocker box. Okay. Let's try this again. Please don't fall. Okay, good. It didn't. Great. Okay. Um, Is there anything else up here? It looks like there's another area. I'm not too sure if there's another floor. There we go. Let's try and make our way through here. Just sort of goes down. Now, this is different to the rest of them. So let's see, and this is glass, right, okay. Dr. Henry K. Moverek, president of Lead Project. He's the Lead Project Specialist, I see. There's a tree here. The Life Tree, grow sample 064-13. I think we've got one of the, like, the saplings for this, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, let's try and make our way over here. There's a computer and a, and a painting. And there's a golden apple and a steak. Nothing too crazy up here so far. Are there any other chests that we missed? Doesn't seem like it. There's a lot. There's like these fish tanks, but there's no fish in them. I don't know. Maybe they... I don't know if there's meant to be fish or not. Maybe they're just meant to be like water pieces. I don't really know. But let's try and make our way up here if we can. Come on. Without falling, preferably. There we go. Okay. We're up, and there is a chest. There is a lot of books, too. Missing samples. So let's read this one first. This one says, I hate to do this to the warp team, but I had a brilliant idea over the weekend. I've seen how far they've gotten with this project and will definitely be removing their deadline. They don't even need to show off their samples. So what should we done? So what should be done with the samples? I'll sell the prototypes. That's what. I'm sure a few government types would love to get their hands on this tech, and I'm glad to oblige. For six figures, a prototype. A million? A couple million? Wow, that's a lot of money. I've sent the prototypes to the dock where they will be loaded onto the sh next ship in a random crate marked with an X. We're going to be going to the dock soon for the boat, so we'll um, have to look out for that. So my informant can intercept them. This is a big deal for future, Futura? Is this how you pronounce it? Futura or Futura? I don't know. Futura, I'm going to say anyway. I'm sure the team would understand if they knew. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that they probably would not understand and that they would probably be very angry and probably are very angry right now because you took and stole the samples and sold them for your own benefit, right? And now we've got architect uh, memo. Hey John, sorry to ask you to do this, but the life tree has gotten so goddamn big that I'm going to need you to expand the dome that you put up for it. I wouldn't dare cut this thing down. Let's see how big it can get. I mean, it's still growing. It's, it's literally outgrown the dome now. So, they must have been working on expand, expanding this when this place fell. I see. And why is there just a random leaf? I thought there was a chest there or something, but it doesn't appear there is one. And what was this one? Letter copy. Okay. 
Um, Nathan, I've left the warp prototypes and a chest atop the chemical purge fan in the lab. Please get them over to the docks to meet the fence. To meet the fence? What? Please get them over to the docks to meet the fence. I don't know what that meant, what that's meant to mean, but okay. I'm asking $2.5 million per prototype, so don't accept anything less. And that, okay, we got one of these prototypes, I think. Right? I'm pretty sure that we got one of these. Yeah, here, this. Prototype 255-26. So these are going for 2.5 million? I mean, man. If we sold that, if we found a wandering trader to sell that to, we would be 2.5 million dollars richer, or I suppose, well, I hope at least that there's a different way of money in the apocalypse, so it would probably be for something different other than money, because I suppose we don't really have a need for that anymore. I'm going to try and get into this part here, I'm not too sure what's in there. I think I saw some end portal frames, so maybe we could go to the end and fight the ender dragon? Not too sure how that would work on this map, because I've noticed that generate structures is actually turned off on this map. I'm not sure why. There's probably a reason for it, but I don't know what it is. Um, come on, don't fall. Okay, I'm trying not to fall here, because if we do, we'll drop straight to the ground. Okay, so this is where the elevator got stuck. Um, we can go up with these vines, but is there a way in after that? Okay, it looks like there's a hole up there, but the question is, is there... Aha! I think that that's the way in, so maybe we can keep climbing up here and try and get into here. Okay. Really? We are one off. Got to be kidding me, and I hear a phantom. See, now I knew there were phantoms on this map, but I didn't know where exactly. So I suppose now we do know. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and break one of these vines. Okay, so now we've got an extra vine, and we can climb up here, and hopefully we can place it. Uh oh! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we killed it. We killed it. We killed it. Okay, but there's- oh, Whoa! Okay, there's more! Ouch! Okay, please don't push me off. I would appreciate that. Thank you! Thank you! No, thank you! None of that! Me no likey! No, thank you! Don't kill me! Phantoms! I hate phantoms! I mean, I don't really find many phantoms when I'm playing just normal Minecraft, to be fair. Because even when I don't sleep, I don't get phantoms, which is kind of annoying, to be fair. And there's a lot of files here. Artifact compound, unleash the power of the dragon. Should we drink it? Let's drink it. Oh. Okay. That is a lot of things. Wow. We're glowing right now. What is happening? I'm invisible and glowing? But I'm not invisible. I don't understand what's happening right now. What? I'm... I'm... I'm gone! What? I'm so confused right now. But like I was saying, I don't really come across many phantoms in normal Minecraft. Even when I'm trying to get them, they just don't appear. Like, I'll, I'll stay up for days trying to find them and they just don't spawn. So, I don't really know. Whoa! Okay, shouldn't have done that. Note to self, no more pull and levers. No more pull and levers. No more. Okay. We're going to end this episode here, because this is dragging on a little bit longer than I expected. But the episode 30 you'll be seeing today will just be continuing on exactly from where we're leaving off. So, make sure you stick around for that next episode, which will be out in an hour from now, I believe, actually. So, I'll see you all then.